Welcome to the next topic. This topic is on dengue fever. So I'm going to tell you about dengue fever symptoms, causes and treatment. Dengue fever is the mosquito-borne disease that occurs in tropical and subtropical areas of the world. Many people, especially children and teens, may experience no signs or symptoms during a mild case of dengue fever. When symptoms do occur, they usually begin 4 to 10 days after you are bitten by an infected mosquito. Signs and symptoms of dengue fever most commonly include fever as high as 106 degree fever, headaches, muscle bone and joint pain, pain behind your eyes. You might also experience widespread rash, nausea and vomiting, rarely minor bleeding from your gums or nose. Most people record within a week or so. In some cases, symptoms worsen and can become life threatening. Blood vessels often become damaged and leaky, and the number of clot forming cells that are in your bloodstream drops. This can cause bleeding from your nose and mouth, severe abdominal pain, persistent vomiting, bleeding under the skin, which might look like bruising, problems with your lungs, liver, and heart. Dengue fever is caused by any one of four dengue viruses spread by mosquitoes that thrive in and near human lodgings. When a mosquito bites a person infected with a dengue virus, virus enters the mosquito when the infected mosquito then bites another person. Virus enters that person's bloodstream. After you have recovered from dengue fever, you have immunity to the virus that infect you but not to the other three dengue fever viruses. The risk of developing severe dengue fever, also known as dengue hemorrhagic fever, actually increases if you are infected a second, third or fourth time. No specific treatment for dengue fever exists. Your doctor may recommend that you drink plenty of fluids to avoid dehydration from vomiting and high fever. Acetaminophen like paracetamol, panadol can, can alleviate pain and reduce fever and avoid pain relievers that can increase bleeding complications such as aspirin, ibuprofen, and naproxen sodium. If you have severe dengue fever, you may need supportive care in a hospital, intravenous fluid and electrolyte replacement, blood pressure monitoring, transfusion to replace blood loss. Be happy and healthy.